In this video, I'll be doing a versus video of the audio to text feature using Whisper in Subtitle Edit 3.6.12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, for this video, I'll base it mostly on speed. Uh, we can try and see if there are some accuracy issues and so on and so forth, but I'll base it solely on speed. Now, I've had people tell me that the different speeds depending on uh, whatever graphics card you have. Some have even results that the GPU is being used using the OpenAI for Whisper. Uh, that is the Python mode in subtitle edit, but I've not, that, I've not had that work on my end. Now, I have the video I want to use, and then let me open up subtitle edit. There we go. And for the first uh, part of it, uh, I'll just walk you through uh, how you get to the audio to text feature if you've never used it. Just drag and drop the video on the wavelength here. So once we do that, it's going to be available. Let's go to video, audio to text whisper, click on that. And then from here, you can select whatever whisper open AI or whisper CPP or whisper const me that you want to use. So right click anywhere here. And by default, you'll see Whisper OpenAI Python. And you can also see that here. If I click on Whisper CPP, you see that here. If I right click Whisper Const Me GPU, you'll see that right here as well. Now, those three different modes really depend. For example, on my machine, Whisper OpenAI is extremely slow. Probably takes about two times the uh, length of the video. As for Whisper CPP, takes probably for like a three minute clip, takes about 20 something seconds. Uh, and for Whisper Const Me, takes about four or five seconds to be done with this particular uh, audio or video file. Now uh, that is the subtitling part of it. So if you wanted something that's quick, you can go for Whisper Const Me. And because that's what we have selected, and because I do have a graphics card, and Whisper const me is only available for Windows at the time of recording this video, I'm going to hit on generate. It's, it's begun doing the process. Four seconds, it's done. If I play this. In this video, I'll show you how to crop a video or photo in CapCut for Windows PC. Looks really good. Not much uh, to complain about. Just some few edits here, maybe of the words CapCut and so on and so forth. So if I click on play again, welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, it's done probably a good job, but there are obviously edits that you need to make for the subtitles to look good. That is the whisper const me. It's super fast and for a two minute clip, it only takes about four seconds. So I'm going to open another instance of subtitle edit 3.6.12. Let's open it up here. And that's something I love about subtitle edit. You can have multiple windows uh, open at uh, one go. Drag and drop our video here. And then for this next one, we're going to go to audio to text whisper and use whisper CPP. Open that. And as for this, you can actually set the maximum characters per subtitle line. I'll leave everything as a default and then click on generate. The same two minute, 10 second clip It has begun. As for whisper const, it's uh, taken us about four seconds. As for whisper CPP, I believe it's going to be something like under 20 seconds, about 15 seconds. So this is what we get. You can actually now see the difference, uh, especially for example, you can see this text here. And when you look at the, uh, this other one, look the way it's subdivided, looks really, really good. So if we play this, in this video, I'll show you how to crop a video or photo in CapCut for Windows PC. Looks almost the same. I believe everything looks the same. And uh, they've both picked up that this is CapCut instead of CapCut. Uh, but either way, let's look at the next section. Welcome to this video. My name is David. And I'll I believe this particular option gave us something better. Welcome to this video. Yeah. Uh, we had something better in Whisper const me that is uh, powered via GPU. Now, the final option for us to test out is uh, the audio to text feature via Whisper that is using the default bare bones OpenAI that is uh, via Python. Now, 
I'll have to warn you, I just kept this as the last option because it takes about the same time or two times more than the video. Well, let's just drag this here. So there we go. So if you'd like to stick around and see, then uh, do me the honors. Let's go to video, audio to text whisper. And then we go to the open AI version here. Click on generate. Now as for this one, for a two minute clip, it takes about two times uh, what you see here. It's going to be about four minutes. And the reason why this is important is because let's assume you're working on like a 30 minute uh, clip or video or anything. Then that means it's going to take you almost double the time to automatically transcribe and subtitle that particular video. Obviously, it's not going to lack any mistakes. You'll need to make edits. So it's really up to you to decide, are you going to use Whisper CPP or use Whisper Const Me if you're on Windows to speed up that particular process? Uh, also, something to note is that as I mentioned, I've seen people on the channel comment that Whisper OpenAI sometimes uses GPU on their end. Uh, CUDA processors and whatnot, all those things uh, that they're mentioning in those uh, particular comments. Uh, and that is mostly for a desktop computer. Uh, my point is, use what works for you uh, based on, let's assume, the speed, how fast you need the subtitles, to what really works best for you in terms of accuracy because depending on the language for example english is not a fast language to me that's probably why it's picking up cup cut as cup card because uh, probably my pronunciation is not the best but if you look at it uh, from my point of view whisper const me is super fast and it's doing a good job whisper cpp is also fast you don't need to waste a lot of time waiting for your files to be done uh, and then Whisper OpenAI on my system, as I've mentioned, is a little bit slower uh, by probably it's taking about two times the time that we have for that video. So we'll give it a like two more minutes uh, and see what we get from this. But the advancements in uh, AI and also having the incorporation of OpenAI's Whisper in Subtitle Edit really changed the game when it came uh, to adding subtitles to video. Hopefully we can have more accurate timestamps in future, uh, whether it's adding a, a different model or maybe the folks at OpenAI fixing something so that the timestamps are kind of pinpoint accurate. That can save uh, somebody a lot of time, especially when it comes to creating subtitles for videos, for clients, for your own uh, videos. Uh, but this is uh, the audio to text feature via Whisper. It's highly welcome and uh, hopefully it keeps growing more and more. So we are into two minutes, 40 seconds and still not yet. So you have about another minute or so to go before it's done, uh, but you can see the results. So something I've noticed in uh, the well, Whisper CPP is that you can set the maximum characters or something. It would be awesome to also have that available in uh, these other options here like uh, in the open AI and also in whisper const me so that you can restrict how much text you want uh, based on the characters that you set out right there uh, but if I may put it this way that's how the advancements in technology have become and it's something that we need to embrace uh, unless we become obsolete so I'm just going to shut up and give this a couple of seconds here. And once it's done, we are going to see what type of results we get depending on this because it's taken a good amount of time. Uh, but if I may say this, probably there's not much of a difference between the two. Uh, but also you can notice that the model that I use for this is the base model. If I use the large model or even the medium model, probably the results would have been better. So here we go. Let's give it a couple of seconds and then we're going to see what we get. So for a two minute, 10 second clip, it takes about four minutes, seven seconds, two times this. So same, uh, if I play this. In this video, I'll show you how to crop a video or photo in CapCut for Windows PC. Looks the same like the GPU version. So if you have a GPU, just use that. Also looks the same, uh, and actually looks the same as the Whisper GPP. 
kind of looks the same with the whisper const me so there's no much difference so in terms of speed whisper const me for windows is super fast followed by cpp and also open ai comes in last with probably two times the amount of time on my system depending on other people on the desktop with a good graphics card they're saying open ai whisper in subtitle edit is as fast as the others so that's it for this video this versus video whisper open ai whisper cpp and also whisper const me i hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching